The MindQ Chamberlain CTO, Dan Phillips, is smart home enemy number one. He doesn't think I should have access to the garage door opener in my house. I should have to use the integration MindQ chooses, which usually require a monthly fee. Well, that ends today. I'm gonna to show you a couple different options how to take back local control of your garage door opener using things like Rat GDO. Oh, and I'm also gonna replace the tennis ball in my garage with a laser. I'm tired of you guys making fun of me for the tennis ball. It's time to fix it. All right, so what's all this fuss about and why do I need a Rat GDO? Well, older garage door openers were really simple. You could just plug something into these contacts and control it the way you want to. But this has a yellow learn button which means it uses Security Plus 2.0, and it's very difficult to integrate into. And that's kind of by design because Chamberlain wants you to integrate the way they want you to, which just gives them more revenue. Kind of slimy. So you need something like Rat GDO to hack this thing and to control it the way you want to. And so I'm no longer going to be referring to Chamberlain or MyQ by their name. Instead, I'm going to be calling them Evil Corp as a tribute to Mr. Robot. All right, let's go inside and install Rat GDO. So the first thing I have to do is install the firmware on the Rat GDO. And that sounds a little scary, but it's really simple. You have two different options, MQTT or ESP Home. I'm going to be using ESP Home. And to install it, all you need is a micro USB cable that can transfer data there's a lot of micro USB cables out there that only transfer power, so make sure it uses data. Plug it in, you go to the right page, click install, and then it will install it on the RAT GDO. And from there, you can connect it to your Wi-Fi, connect it to a home assistant, and then we'll install the wires and link it up to the garage door opener. And if you don't know what RAT GDO stands for, stands for Rage Against the Garage Door Opener, which is just awesome. All right, now that the firmware is all installed on the RAT GDO, which was really easy to do, I'm gonna plug in three wires, and I'm just gonna use some leftover wire from light strips. And they say to use some thinner wire, and I think it's because the opening isn't really big, but I'm also gonna tin the wire with a soldering iron, that way the little strands aren't going all over the place. All right, so as you can see, I have the Rat GDO mounted. I'm just using a 3D printed case that I made. Uh, it fits okay, I found it online, I'll link it down below. And I have that just with some Velcro ties mounted onto the little like frame thing for the garage door opener. It's plugged into the power, and then there's three wires, a red, white, and black, and those go down into the garage door opener right here, the red, white, and black. You can see there's not tons of room for the wire. So yeah, you definitely don't want thick wires. So the Rat GDO gives you a few more features than you originally got with the MyQ integration. You can toggle the light. You can see if there's an obstruction preventing the garage door from closing. There's also exposes the motion sensor on the garage door opener, but it doesn't seem to be working at least with the ESP home version. It just always says it's clear, but you can also change how much the garage door opens or closes so you can open up partially or all the way and when you're opening it it will show you the percentage how much it's opened or closed in real time so those rat gdos are pretty sweet but they're very difficult to get right now like i had to order mine about a month ago and it just got here so i'm sure they're even more back ordered now the evil corp has blocked their api access but there's another thing you can use that gets pretty similar results, and that is the Meros HomeKit controller. It's way up here, it works locally, and it integrates really well with Home Assistant. So this controller is a little different. Instead of messing with Security Plus 2.0 and all the wires and everything, it just hardwires its own sensor that connects to the garage door to know if it's open or closed. And then you can also get this thing, once you fill out a little form with Meros, They'll send you, it's like a little garage door opener that has some wires soldered to it. And then that connects to the controller. So when you want the controller to open the garage door open or closed, it just sends a little signal to the garage door opener that opens or closes the garage door. So it's definitely more hacky, but it works really well. So definitely a great option if you're not using the RAT GDO. And it doesn't give you as many features, but 
you can still see if the garage door is opening, if it's left open, if it's closing and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you can't control the light, but still plenty of good features. All right, before I get into the laser tennis ball replacement, I wanna emphasize how big of a miss opportunity this is for Evil Corp. Instead of blocking the 20,000 users from their API, just enable local control so they don't even have to use your Evil Corp API. They can just integrate it straight into their home assistant and they don't have to get all this extra stuff because those people are never going to buy an Evil Corp subscription anyways. So you're not going to lose any kind of money. And if anything, they're going to say good things about Evil Corp because, hey, they enabled this thing and I can use it and it's amazing. And maybe their sales would even go up. But instead, people are going to say bad things about Evil Corp. And like, I'm never, ever going to recommend Evil Corp ever again. I'm never going to say their name. All right, enough about that. Let's talk about this laser. All right, so all it is is this little laser pointer. You know, those little laser pens. It's pretty much the exact same thing. It's plugged into power. And there's a little PIR motion sensor that when the car pulls in, the laser pointer turns on, points down to the dash. And so you know exactly where to park. So I have the laser plugged into this Casa Smart power strip. That way I can kill power to the laser when the garage door is closed. That way when my kids are in here in the garage and the car is gone, that they won't look up and get blinded by the laser. So the laser only gets power when the garage door is open and when I'm pulling in the car, that way I can see how far to pull forward. I'm really glad I have the garage doors integrated back into Home Assistant. I didn't realize how many automations I have that use the garage doors. And I'll hopefully do a garage tour soon, so keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching.